We are back in Dark and Light. Shard of Faith DLC. Dark and Light just released this DLC. If you guys don't remember, I played Dark and Light when it released. I think it was nearly a year ago now. It was a pretty long time ago. And we had a lot of fun in Dark and Light until a mountain got dropped on our base and that sort of put us all off playing. But, they've just released a new DLC so I thought I'd jump back in. See how it's looking. Dark and Light does some really cool things. If you're not familiar with it, it's like Ark with magic basically. But, it's, it's really cool. There's like a sort of questing system. There's base building. There is raiding to an extent. There was a few funny mechanics with raiding where you had to put down a flag to raid someone's base. Um, and then they made it so bases were basically invulnerable. I hope they've fixed it so you can actually raid again. Because we are going to be a brutal hunter in these lands. We are going to be slaying anyone that stands in our path. So, if I bring back the hard here. Well, I think someone's getting killed. When you join Dark and Light, it's basically if you press O, it's got a questing system. So I've already done the intro quest with my girlfriend Alyssa. She's beautiful. You press this, she actually, actually talks to you. She's got a beautiful voice. It tells you what to do. Basically, you punch trees and all that good stuff. Um, but the leveling system in Dark and Light's really cool. You actually have to focus on working towards what you want to level. So if I want to level up, like, uh, say, range crafting, which I'm working on now, I have to actually hit these trees with a sword and, and make range crafting spells to level that up. So it's kind of got a really cool... Uh, leveling system which I've always liked in Dark and Light and the PvP was pretty cool back in the day when it was lightning when lightning was like instant travel it was amazing because you could have some good fights so hopefully the PvP is still here that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping yeah but I did forget to mention what the DLC actually is it's like a new map there's a whole new map for Dark and Light now I think there may be cross map travel soul node I think, but I can't be sure. They might have added across travel across the maps. But yeah, this is a whole new map to explore. Which is pretty damn cool. Hope you guys are keen for another Dark and Light series. But uh, we'll get to the grind and uh, get this adventure started. So I've spawned in at this outpost here. Done all my intro quests now. I think I get to set up my base, which is good. We're up to this quest here. So this guy looks like he wants to die. Got him. All right, I guess we'll set up our base here, like everybody else is doing. This looks like a nice scenic spot. Too close to enemy. All right, there's a base there. Might have to go a little bit away, I think. Set up our base, but man, this game looks beautiful. Just look at how good this game looks. That's one thing I remember about Dark and Light. It looks amazing. Oh, what's this guy doing? He's an enemy. Come on. I think we hit him again. Yes, we got him. Nice. Filthy dwarf. I can't remember the quick transfer button at the moment. Oh, we needed all that straw. Yes. Like I said, if you guys don't like a lot of killing and stuff, then, then don't watch because I'm going to be... We're going to be playing pretty brutal to start with. And the thing is with, with survival games, like they're, they're open-ended so you can... You can play it how you like, base here. Yeah. This is only gonna be a starter, starter shacks. Oh, he's coming to kill us. Oh, that melee is bad, I remember that much. He's running. Got him. That was the same guy, how did he get that? Power. Oh my god, that's a bit concerning. <laughs> How did he turn into that thing? What's that? Oh, I can't remember that movie, but it looked like the guy from that movie. The Narnia. He looked like the Narnia guy. I think we need to seal up our base quickly. 
We've made an enemy. That didn't take long. Oh no, I can't place walls there. We'll have to place it here. Let's heal up. He'll be back. Oh shit, he's back, he's back. You mad? You mad, man? Oh, he's brought a friend. Oh, you brought a friend, that's cute. You guys are cute. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't realize that doesn't do anything. Let's go for his friend. Oh, what? That was a hit on my screen. I'm out of mana. No! Come on. Regain mana. Regain mana. Oh. oh no. Oh, that did nothing. Go to. There he is. He's trying to run. What? Oh. They've got the flame. Repair this. I need more magic shards, damn it. I need to escape so I can make more magic shards. Because I think my uh yeah, my fireball spell is just about to break. Triggered. It's a perfect name. Do you guys have mics? Why are you so triggered? Triggered. I'm probably going to be number one target on this server, to be honest. But early game PvP is so much fun. Give me your shards. Not worth. What the hell is that? Get him. This is the guy that killed me before. Got him. Oh man. This guy was loaded. This guy was so loaded. Oh, he's coming for us. They're coming in. coming for us. This may be the end. This may be the end. Let's heal up. Run for our lives. We'll fight. Got one. I think I hit two. Oh man. This is bad. This is bad. We actually pushed him back. Oh man. We got them both. They won't be coming back. 
So we probably pissed off a few too many neighbors. I'm running back to my base now. I'm pretty sure these guys might be actually camping it. They're in Tumnus form again for some reason. They're coming. Oh my god. We shouldn't have pissed off the neighbors, but it's been so much fun. Nothing to lose by the thatch, thatch house, so it's all good. We'll keep on fighting. I promise next time we'll probably do a bit more than just PvP, but for now, we need to prove our dominance. Oh, let's get out. Don't want to mess with those things, I don't think. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, we got him again. This is back to safety. Yep. Damn. Was that the same guys? I'm not sure if that was the same guys or not. Alright. We can sit in this. To uh, rest up, I think. To fix our brain there. That goes down so quick. And once that's down, you can't do much. We've also just got our chest too, which is nice. I find when I place a base that I kind of, you kind of have to um, make it too high because in dark and light it kind of bugs out if you don't. I'll put that there. Alright. We kind of need to seal this in too a bit better. We are not very safe here. That'll give us this, that's the rest we need. We sleep on this. Okay. All too bad. It's been a hard day's work. Making enemies. Tomorrow we're gonna have to fight them. Once again. There's no place like home. Look at this. Like Ragnar Lothbrok. With that chair in there. Throne room. And here's our bedroom. Next to the cozy fire. Oh. <laughs> Not so cozy fire. Ooh, I think we can jump into this place. I don't know how we'll get out, but they might have loot. Yes. Hide, oh, that's what we needed. Nice. Here we actually. Oh no, here we go. Jump on the chest. And then up. Yes, we did it. So it actually seems like. There's not a full loot system in the game at the moment, because I died, I got killed, and I came back with all my stuff, except my resources, so... I think... In PvP now, you don't lose full... full drop. Just your resources, maybe. Which kind of makes sense, because a lot of the stuff in this game... Takes a huge investment to get, like your armor... And your, um, equipment and stuff. So we need a bit more hide. But I can't find any animals at the moment. It's just strange. What's this guy doing? AFK? Nope. Oh, shoot. I think he's going for the melee. Got him. Yeah, so they just drop resources now. I don't know how I feel about that. It's, a, it's probably a good thing, to be honest. It makes the game a little bit less toxic, maybe. As I just kill somebody. But then it kind of sucks that you can't get the good weapons and stuff. I don't know. I think this base down here might be getting raided. Maybe. Oh my god. Or are they getting attacked by wild stuff? I think they're getting attacked by that wild creature. I don't know if I want to mess with it. Let's go. I guess we will. We'll save him. This will give us some fat levels, I think, if we kill this.
Hopefully because we attacked it first we get the uh, XP. Is that your base? Don't know why I'm helping the enemy here but could give us some fat XP and some hide. Oh, we broke another fireball. It's gonna suck if these guys turn on us. No, I think they got the kill. So, we uh, we saved the village. If you guys want to see more Dark and Light, make sure to leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next one.